Alright guys, so I thought it was about time we get into some gear reviews on this channel. So today we're going to review a hydration belt from Nathan. It is the Nathan Mercury 3. Alright, so here I am in the barn. I'm in the barn now. It's just so sunny and bright outside. I thought this would be a cool location. Uh, we got a road passing by right behind us though, so it can get a little noisy. But uh, that's fine. So, hydration, super important issue. It's really hot these days here in Norway. So when I'm heading out on runs, especially longer runs, I'm definitely bringing with me uh, some water. Uh, and we can get into that in another video, you know, hydration strategies and that sort of thing. But today I wanted to, to you know, talk a little bit about this product, which is something I've enjoyed using over the last six months or so. Before we get into the details, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, and if you have subscribed already, click the little button next to the subscribe button. There's a little bell, and if you click it, uh, you'll get notified when I upload a new video. So go ahead and do that if you want to stay up to date with all our content here on this channel. We'll do several more gear reviews and training talks, running vlogs, and all that good stuff. All right, let's get into it. So, awesome, awesome piece of equipment, this, this belt. I mean, I, I really, really like it. Uh, there are a few pros. Uh, I didn't really come up with any cons. I'll do my best to come up with some cons too. But let's jump right into the pros first. First of all, I've had other belts in the past and they've just been uncomfortable around my waist. And another problem I've had a lot of the time is that it keeps slipping up. Like it doesn't really stay there. Uh, this on the other hand stays. And part of the reason is because it has these wide straps around and they're they're elastic so it really really sticks around your waist very snugly um, so what I do is I just fix it like that I don't know if you can see it properly um, and I really tighten it well and it just stays on there really really well um, so it's just very comfortable soft here soft but nevertheless fairly minimal and you know it breathes well uh, so it's not like you feel like you have a lot of stuff around there it's really minimal feels really light it is fairly light um, so that's good the bottles that's another pro they come with three bottles and you know I'll put an affiliate link in the description if you want to go ahead and buy this product there will be an affiliate link in the description I bought this product with my own money it's not sponsored or anything like that and if you buy the product, I'll get a little bit of a commission for sending you there, but the price remains the same for you. Uh, I didn't find this particular product though, with three flasks. I only found the, the two flask version, which is fine. That's uh, also an option if you're running a little bit of a shorter run, maybe you just want two flasks with you, you can get that uh, product. There's a link in the description. But these flasks, really, really nice. About 280 milliliters, um, so that's good. Um, there we go, nice and soft, BPA free I'm pretty sure, yep, BPA free. Uh, and the best thing about these flasks is, is the top here. You know, when you're running or biking or anything and you have these flasks and you have to pull them out with your teeth, that's usually a little bit like, ah, like hurts your teeth a little bit and, and you know, worst case scenario you can chip a tooth or something like that. These though, that won't happen because these are soft. They're like rubber, soft stuff, so you can you can really pull them out with your teeth, no problem. And they're wide. They're they're like they're not small, tiny little things. They're actually wide and really comfortable to have in your mouth uh, and easy to drink from. You can just squeeze ahead and get all the water in that you need. And then they sit in these these things here, uh, plastic, hard, uh, that just makes it really easy to shove them back in place after you've had a sip. Sometimes if you if you don't have these uh, plastic things in or in other belts there's always this kind of uh, you know you sort of have to open a pocket and shove it in there but this is already open it goes right in no problem. There's also a little pocket on the side they claim it's fits an iPhone I don't know maybe uh, anyway I bring my phone in there sometimes a camera uh, I don't have an iPhone though um, and so that's practical to have a little bit of, of room for that. Looks cool, if that's a pro. Looks cool, I think. And I guess one con, or there's room for improvement. I think personally, I would like just a little bit more space in the, in the bottles. Just like to bring a little bit more water. I really prefer, at this point anyway, I prefer having a belt rather than a bladder in a backpack. 
I'll experiment with that more as well though, but I'd love to be able to carry something like 1200 milliliters in a belt. This is just about, you know, 800 or something like that, um, 850. So maybe if they just were just like 50 milliliter bigger bottles or if they had two more bottles somehow, I don't know how that would work. It would be excessive maybe. Um, they could also be a pocket like that on the other side. I mean, I, I, I like having a lot of, uh, you know, space to put stuff. I bring a phone, I bring a camera, uh, I bring a key to my car. Sometimes I bring some dates, uh, you know, stuff like that. So I like to have some room uh, to put stuff. So an extra pocket would be nice. Other than that, I can't really come up with any negatives about this uh, hydration belt. I like, as I said, I like carrying my uh, water, my weight um, around the waist. That's the most economical place to carry it from a runner, running perspective. Carrying stuff in your hands tends to get uh, ineconomical because you're wasting a lot of energy carrying those bottles. The best place to have it is just around your waist. So anyway, I think I'm going to cut it short there. Um, that's it. Go ahead and check it out. There's a link in the description to the Mercury 2 with two bottles. Sometimes if I had him out, heading out for a short run, I'll just take out one bottle and I'll just run with two bottles. So I guess ideally speaking, I would have one of those and one of these and another one with two extra bottles like I just mentioned. That would be a nice, nice sort of uh, choice to have when I'm heading out on different lengths of runs and in different conditions. Sometimes when it's really hot, I sweat a lot. I drink a lot, uh, other times not. Anyway, that's all. I'll put a link here to uh, the playlist of gear reviews. So far I've done mostly shoe reviews, so be sure to check those out. Stay tuned for more content, more gear reviews, more book reviews, more vlogs and training uh, talks and all that good stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe, as I said, and you know, stay hydrated. It's, uh, it's a really important uh, thing for runners and people, just general health, you know. You want to stay hydrated, and especially when you're out there on longer runs. Having a hydration belt is a good idea. Go check out that affiliate link. Hope you're having a great day. See you around.